Well, you know what? It's it's something that has helped me incredibly in my life. Yeah. I've been a Scientologist for over 30 years, yeah. and um, it's something that, as as you know, without it, uh, I wouldn't be where I am. Yeah. You know, so it's a beautiful religion, and I'm very proud. Tom Cruise is a highly successful and influential American actor and producer. He has starred in a number of blockbuster films and has been honored with numerous awards for his acting, including three Golden Globe Awards and three Academy Award nominations. In addition to his work in the entertainment industry, Cruise is also a prominent member of the Church of Scientology and has been a vocal advocate for their bizarre practices. Cruise has been associated with Scientology for over three decades and his experience with the religion has been a subject of much speculation and controversy. Cruz was introduced to Scientology by his first wife, Mimi Rogers, in the late 1980s. He soon became one of the religion's most high-profile members and has since been a vocal advocate for its teachings and practices. Cruz has credited Scientology with helping him overcome dyslexia and has claimed that the religion's teachings have helped him achieve success in his career. However, Cruz's association with Scientology has also been the subject of much criticism. The Church of Scientology has been accused of being a cult that uses mind control techniques to manipulate its members. Critics have also accused the cult of being a money-making scheme, with many former members claiming that they were pressured into spending large amounts of money on courses and materials, with some members reportedly spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on the required materials and curriculums. In a 2005 interview with Diane Sawyer, Cruz defended Scientology, stating, It's a beautiful religion. I am incredibly proud. I have been a Scientologist for over 20 years. It's something that is, you know, it's a part of me. It's what I believe. I think it's a wonderful tool in my life that has helped me. Cruz has also been known to speak out against critics of the Church of Scientology, particularly in the media. Matt Lauer interviewed Tom Cruise in 2008. The interview took place on the Today Show and was widely publicized due to Tom's unusual and just plain weird behavior during the interview. During the interview, Matt Lauer questioned Tom about his involvement with the Church of Scientology and its controversial practices, including its treatment of members who leave the church. Cruz became visibly agitated and increasingly confrontational, criticizing Lauer's knowledge of the subject matter and calling him glib. Tom's involvement with Scientology has also been the subject of controversy due to his outspoken and harmful views on psychiatry and mental health. Scientologists believe that psychiatry and psychology are pseudosciences the Church of Scientology claims that psychiatry and psychology are inherently dangerous and harmful. The Church of Scientology has been known to publicly criticize psychiatry, calling it a brutal and coercive practice that uses drugs and electroshock therapy to control patients. The Church of Scientology promotes its own approach to mental health called Dianetics, which it claims can help individuals overcome spiritual distress. In a now famous interview with Matt Lauer on the Today Show in 2005, Cruz called psychiatry a pseudoscience and criticized actress Brooke Shields for taking antidepressants to treat postpartum depression. He stated, she doesn't understand the history of psychiatry. She doesn't understand in the same way that you don't understand it, Matt. Cruz's comments sparked widespread criticism and many people felt that his views were harmful and could discourage people from seeking necessary treatment for mental health problems. Other celebrities also spoke out against Cruz's comments. Comedian and talk show host Ellen DeGeneres called Cruz's remarks dangerous and irresponsible. Actress and mental health advocate Carrie Fisher wrote an op-ed for the Los Angeles Times, criticizing Cruz's comments and defending the use of medication in treating mental illness. The incident also brought renewed attention to Scientology and its controversial teachings. In 2008, a video of Cruz discussing his beliefs in Scientology was leaked online. In the video, Cruz is seen praising the religion and its founder, L. Ron Hubbard. He also discusses his belief in the concept of suppressive persons or people who are deemed to be enemies of Scientology. The video caused a stir with many people expressing concern about Cruz's apparent devotion to the religion. Some former members of Scientology also spoke out claiming that the video showed the extent of the religion's influence over Cruz. Despite the controversy surrounding his involvement with Scientology, Cruz has remained a committed member of the cult he has continued to speak out about his belief in its teachings and practices, and he has been heavily involved in promoting the cult's causes and initiatives. Cruz's involvement with Scientology has also had an impact on his personal life. Tom was married to Katie Holmes from 2006 to 2012. Katie famously filed for divorce from Cruz in 2012, and many media outlets speculated that her decision was related to her concerns about Cruz's involvement with Scientology. 
While Holmes has not commented on the reasons for her divorce, some sources have suggested that she was uncomfortable with the church's practices and its influence on her marriage. Cruz has not publicly spoken about his daughter's involvement in Scientology, and it is not clear whether Suri is a member of the church. However, there have been reports that Cruz has not seen his daughter Suri in person since his divorce from actress Katie Holmes in 2012. It is worth noting that Scientology's is also highly criticized, particularly when it comes to the involvement of children in the cult. Critics of Scientology have raised concerns about the treatment of children and its policies regarding education and medical treatment. Scientologists believe that children of all ages are adults in a child's body. Members who have left the cult say this belief has led to child abuse in many forms, including physical abuse, psychological abuse, and children being forced to perform hard physical labor. Many former members have recalled what Scientologists call boot camp, where dozens of children are neglected, abandoned, and must rely on each other to parent themselves. It is common and encouraged for Scientologist parents to abandon and send their children away to reform schools that have been modeled after military training schools. In an interview with Rolling Stones magazine, a former Scientologist who was raised in the cult has said he was beat with a paddle for disobedience. He was only eight years old. Unfortunately, this is all too common within Scientology. In recent years, Cruz's relationship with Scientology has been somewhat more low-key. He has continued to be associated with the religion, but he has been less vocal about his beliefs in public since several of his bizarre interviews. However, his involvement with the religion remains a subject of much interest and speculation. Tom Cruise's experience with Scientology has been a controversial and heavily scrutinized aspect of his life. While he has credited the religion with helping him overcome dyslexia and achieve success in his career, his outspoken views on psychiatry and his apparent devotion to the cult have also led to criticism and controversy. Despite this, Tom Cruise has remained a dutiful and committed member of Scientology. If you enjoyed our video, give it a like and subscribe. See you next time.